Welp, it's that time of year again to cover the Breeders' Cup Classic. I've done this for four years on this channel, so let's keep it going. And this year is definitely going to be one of the easiest to handicap, as we have a very obvious favorite, a grade 1 winning horse who most recently took his final prep by multiple lengths. That horse, obviously, is Taba. I mean, it says it right here, he's gonna win by 20 lengths. Nah, I'm just kidding, everyone knows it's Flightline, I I'm not even gonna keep up the suspense. So with such an obvious favorite, how do I offer anything different or remotely interesting or informative for this year's Breeders' Cup Classic that hasn't been said already? Well, you don't. So instead what I'm gonna do is have a little bit of fun and play devil's advocate. You know what they say, it's horse racing. Even the greatest of all time, Secretariat, lost five of his races, so how could Flightline, under some crazy circumstances, lose the Breeders' Cup? Well, there aren't too many ways he could lose, but I'm gonna try anyway just for the sake of challenging myself. Starting with number one, a sloppy track. Now there is some possibility that it might rain on Breeders' Cup Day. The weather forecast says possible scattered showers, so if it rains in Lexington, Kentucky and it hits the Keeneland race course, maybe there could be a sloppy track, and thus Flightline will have a new obstacle to overcome. He's never ran on a sloppy track, so we don't know how good or bad he can handle it. So there's a good chance that he just handles it like a pro and just wins anyway, or there is a chance that he could just pull a thunder snow and just run like this. Honestly, even if he hopped around like that, he might still win. Number 2, A Pace Meltdown. Now this isn't my idea originally, this was actually suggested by Dan Wolf, who expected Flightline to lose in A Pace Meltdown. A very bold take, and you know what, I respect it. Life is Good is going to be the closest thing to a rival that Flightline's going to have in this Breeders' Cup Classic, and he does all his best running at the very start of the race, running incredibly fast fractions before tiring out. What if Flightline decided to chase after Life is Good instead of raiding like he did in the Met Mile, and they just exhaust each other out in the home stretch? Somebody could come late and swoop by, maybe number three, Rich Strike. I mean, he won the Kentucky Derby when nobody gave him a chance, so what's not to say he just breaks the laws of physics again? I mean, this race is being held in a Kentucky racetrack, Number four, the jockey falls off. The chances of a jockey falling off a horse mid-race are low, but never zero. And finally, number five, Flyline's actually just two kids in a trench coat. 